Pisces, it's Nico, and welcome to the channel. So I'm gonna be doing your reading. Um, it was so funny, right before I was filming, I almost said, I was like, icy Pisces. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be relevant for someone, but who knows. Um, so we're just gonna get the cards going. Um, it's general, it may or may not resonate. Hopefully it does. And yeah, let's just get started. There's no time on these readings. They're just when you find them or when they find you. Okay, raccoon, interesting. First card out. Unicorn. Have you been hiding, Pisces? Pisces, <laughs> what have you been doing? Um, okay, let's get started. Um, you and someone else are just so compatible just right off the bat, like, tiger and lion, are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? This is like divine feminine, divine masculine, like. Oh, hi Pisces. Who have you caught in your net this week? <laughs> and with the raccoon card, it's interesting. I feel like you've been hiding from this person. If it's not the person, then you've definitely been hiding. I wanna say it's, not necessarily how you feel, but like the depths of what you feel maybe is the best way to put it. Um, Cause this card does talk about like shying away, being like hidden, closing off, you know, us having a talent or something, you know, in us that we want to say, we want to express, we want to show. Um, it's almost like you've been playing it safe around this person is what I'm hearing now, you know? Um, which isn't working for you, you're done. It's not working for you anymore because you're a freaking tiger, Pisces. You're a freaking tiger. So why are you acting like a raccoon? Like, it doesn't make any sense. So your person, lion, lion and starfish, you might be dealing with a Leo. Um, <laughs> but it's like, this person is staring right at you. Just kidding. <laughs> but you know what I mean? This person is, they are all eyes on you. That song with Nicki Minaj, Meek Mill, and Chris Brown, like all eyes on you, baby girl, all eyes on you. This person just, it's beautiful. Like you love spending time with them and you see them as this star, you know? You see them as this like royalty, this king or queen. But that's the way they see you. That's exactly the way they see you. They're staring right at you. Like you're the only thing that's like on their mind. You're the only thing that's like, yeah, but there's this shyness. Like even here, it's like me, like you're looking at me. Yes, Pisces, you, you, <laughs> you, don't, don't, don't soldier boy down. <laughs> but with the unicorn card, it's like, you might have recently only started to realize how much this person actually likes you, you know? Um, it could have been like a long, not, not a long time coming, but like, uh, you just, I guess you never really saw it before. You were like, oh, like, yeah, like, we're chill, but like, whatevs, or something. Or like, yeah, like, I really like them, but I don't know how they feel about me, so. <laughs> but this person likes you back. <laughs> And it's so funny because out of all the signs that would be like, they don't like me, they don't like me. It would be Pisces and Aquarius, those are my top two. That like a person I feel like could literally come up to them and be like, I like you. And I feel like Pisces and Aquarius are like, oh, but like, you know, Pisces are very humble. So um, you might not realize it, but this person is like, I mean, I don't want to get too many people's hopes up because I, you know, these readings are general, but someone is so in with you it's just like the light of their eyes you're all they can see they love you so much uh, just they would go to, they would go to the end of the earth for you you know like there's nothing this person wouldn't do for you unconditional love unconditional unconditional so unconditional which is what Pisces rules right Pisces and Virgo you guys rule unconditional love um, and it's interesting that you've been so shy, Pisces. Like, this person is, you know, you're almost looking at them like, 
you know, shyly, like, I almost want to do like this, like, but then this person is looking right at you. They're, you know, heart on their sleeve. Like, I love Pisces. That's like might be their next tattoo, you know? I'm um, just joking. But there's something about you that's so hidden and so reserved and so, um, you know, scared to speak up, scared to show your true self, scared to come out of the shadows. It's almost like you're so comfortable in the shadows that it's become your home. And this person is almost saying like, come to the sun, you know, Leo, sun, like come into the sunlight, like come here. I almost see like, all I'm seeing is like a red string attached to you and you're inside a cave and they're almost outside the cave pulling on the red string. They're like, come on, like, where are you at Pisces? Um, and there is this thing of, uh, there's a lot of lunar energy being shown here, you know, with the unicorn and the tiger card having the moon on it. So I wonder if for you, and now it's all making more and more sense, the unicorn card it talks about in the book, it says it's like, you question if it was real or not. You know, did I see that? Is that something that's really there? So I think from your side, Pisces, you're just not sure if this person even likes you back or if what you feel is worth feeling, if you feel is even valid, you know, not even worth it, just is what I'm feeling real? Is this like actually happening? And it's like, yeah, it is. <laughs> You've seen it through your third eye. Why are you doubting yourself so much? Um, a lot of this is doubt that's coming up, you know, um, doubt, insecurity, but you know, it's, It's like you know your worth, you know you're a tiger, you know your how do I say this? You're well established, right? You're you're well established in yourself. And so is this person, but I don't want to say uh you're hard to convince, but you're definitely hard to pull out, if that makes sense. Like you're hard to um shake up, if you will, sort of Ah, here it is. Resting bitch face. <laughs> you know, it's like someone cannot get a good read on you. And I think because of that, you almost... <sighs> you know, for you, you're like, oh, is it not obvious that this person likes me? Like, why haven't they done this? Why haven't they done that? But it's like, this person equally is the same right to be scared of you, you know? They have the same... They have this what they're gonna show to you, like, they have a shadow as well. And, you know, you, you can't be scared to come forward at the end of the day because it's gonna happen eventually is what I'm hearing. Like, you're gonna have to be honest with this person. You're gonna have to show the side of yourself you've been hiding. You're gonna have to say what needs to be said, do what needs to be done. Um, at the end of the at the end of the day, you know, actions speak louder than words, right? So I'm almost getting for some of you Pisces, you've like told this person you don't like them. Or if it's not that, you've just been acting very uh not not even acting, you've just been saying you've been saying one thing and doing another. If that makes sense, I've definitely been there. I got a lot of Pisces in my chart. Um you know, it's been like, oh, like, oh, like, I don't care if that, if so-and-so flirts with so-and-so, like, I don't care, whatever. But on the inside, you're like, you know, you're like burning from jealousy. You're like, whatever, like, I don't care. Like, it doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm good. I'm Gucci. We're chilling. But in reality, that's not the truth. You know, tigers are possessive. Tigers don't like other cats playing with their toys. I don't think so. And there is something about like, you know, your actions speak louder than words, you know? So you can say you don't care if so-and-so flirts with so-and-so, but if you're in the corner a minute later, it's just like, like, you can say you don't care, but everyone knows you care. So it's kind of that vibe where it's like, you've been acting like you, or you've been saying you don't care. You've been like, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. But you're, the proof's in the pudding and your actions have sort of shown otherwise. So I think with this person, you know, you've been insecure if they like you. Um, and it's almost like, <laughs> the, 
this person just likes you back and they're like I thought you didn't like me because of all the stuff you were saying like even though your actions were different like you were saying one thing and doing another and it's almost like that's what needs to come out Pisces you need to tell the person like okay like yeah I lied like I actually do really like you or I actually do really want this job I actually do I actually will do that you know what I mean it's um it's a type of compromise you kind of need to show your cards a little bit um because you've already you've already kind of been bleeding your deck if you will you know in poker have you been like this like you've kind of been like bleeding a little like the other person can kind of see your cards but like not really um it's almost like you're still in the poker game you know cards are still feeling feeling still being dealt so this person isn't a thousand percent sure until the full game the full thing's over you know but um this person just i'm just getting loyalty till the end like you know they're even looking at you they're like all right like you don't like me that's fine that's cool you don't have to like me and you're just like you know it's like this person's sort of blase blah if you will um because that's how it feels it feels like they really like you but they're not gonna make an ass out of themselves to like go after you which is so respectable you know you respect that pisces would oh pisces would definitely respect that you guys are all low-key like i say this every pisces i've met is low-key a gangster or like has some type of mafia personality to them like there is something about pisces energy where it can just go off when it has to you know now i'm just hearing like red room by offset like everybody hit the floor before you make me mad <laughs> like you are definitely not the kind of person you know to be played with and i wonder if that's what is sort of causing this because there's no i'm not seeing a reason for you to be super defensive around this person because it seems like they really care about you they're open to you they want you but you're still being defensive you're still not revealing your hand you're still a little angry at them um and i wonder if it's just from you know you might need more reassurance you might need more attention from them you might need something that they're not giving you which is making you question all these things but i think it's gonna be worked out because this person might very literally just it seems like they're coming to, they're pulling you out you know if they're not directly coming to you they're pulling you out and with these with this combination you know there's nothing to be scared of. Um, our vulnerabilities are only vulnerabilities as long as we don't accept them and embrace them. You know, no one can, for example, something that I've struggled with is I was never super overweight, but I was never super skinny. So when someone would call me fat, I would be like, oh, like freaking out even though like I've never been quote unquote like obese or anything but it's one of those things where it's like it's an insecurity for me so even if I'm not you know like fat or whatever getting called that hurts and it's one of my like soft spots so it's almost like this person has triggered one of your soft spots which is why you're being so defensive towards them and I want to say they've triggered it by accident. Like they don't even know that they've triggered this thing in you, but you are like on the offense. And I just got to tell you, Pisces, like you can be on the defense now. Like there is no reason for you to like be on the offense with this person. Maybe in the past that could have been a thing, you know, they triggered you a lot, but this person is really receptive and they really do care about you and they're not trying to hurt you. That's something I really need to get out of the way. Like, this person is not trying to hurt you. They're not trying to use your shadow against you, you know? They're not trying to pry on your insecurities. They're not trying to, um, you know, embarrass you or expose you or anything like that. They genuinely just want you. They want you, they just want you, you know? And it's funny because Lion, you know, Leo, Leo totally rules the ego. It totally rules insecurities. Um, some of the most insecure people are Leos and Pisces, which is so funny to me because I'm like, those are the two signs that I'm like, no offense, like you don't really have, <laughs> you have no reason to be super insecure. Well, everyone does, but you know what I mean? Like, in my opinion, those two signs kind of, for the most part, like got it going on for a lot of it. So it's strange that those are always the most insecure signs. Uh, 
And I think that you're not an insecure person, like maybe a little bit, but at the end of the day, you know your worth, you know your value, Pisces. So there's nothing to worry about. This person isn't here to take advantage of you, which can happen a lot for Pisces. Pisces, your opposite's Virgo. Like you guys get taken advantage of so much of the time. And it breaks my heart because you guys are some of the most hardworking people, most caring people, unconditional love. And that's what you're finally being given back. Pisces, you're being given back unconditional love. Um, this person just wants to see you like thrive. They just want to see you happy, which is, you, you know, that's unconditional love. You know, when you love someone so much that you just want them to be happy. You just want what's best for them. There's just oh, so much good intentions here. So much goodness. So I'm going to stop the reading there, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a phenomenal month, phenomenal week, and I will see you guys in the dailies. So.